Hey, what's up, my little side of tells? How y'all doing today? Well, if your name is Chloe the Clown, baby, you are sitting here crying into your cornflakes while your nemesis or a girl you tried to take every blessing she had, Jordan Craig, that's Tristan's mother of his first child, is out here living her best MF and wife. As a matter of fact, she's being wined and dined and treated like a lady should. Chloe's still being treated like Molly the maid. And Marley, Marley is telling Chloe to get her game up. She needs to be more flexible. And she's also flashing a ring. Now, how did um, Chloe respond to all this? Because you know Chloe be on her burner account, at least in my opinion, looking at all their Instagram stuff. How did she respond to this? Did she grow up? Did she say, let me work on myself? No, she dug into her quote of the month. And more importantly, she had the nerve to post a picture with an engagement ring. As if, I mean, I, here's the thing, right? I'm beginning to wonder what Chloe's base IQ is, baby. You posting an engagement ring. Is that supposed to be a shock? Is that supposed to be a dig? Are we supposed to be talking? Baby, we're talking about that woolly mammoth of a dumb, dumb man sleeping in your bed every night, making you literally dry curry. That's right. Jordan's living her best life. Marley is happy. And Chloe, the girl that did everything she could to hold on to that piece of man, is eating some dry chicken curry. Y'all, let's get into this. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the chicken curry, as you guys don't, as you guys might know, um, Chloe was going through it because Kim kept occupying Tristan's time. You know, Kim needed a plus one. She thought he was a good aesthetic. She kept taking, I guess Chloe finally put her foot down, which is to say she probably called Kim crying. And Kim was like, Chloe seems to be in the Virgin Nourish breakdown. Maybe you should go back home. Tristan came back home and posted because he hadn't been home in a fortnight. He'd been partying with Davido. He'd been partying with Kim. He'd been partying with um, Corey Gamble, right? He, yeah, let me shut up. He's been partying with Corey Gamble. Um, so when he finally made it home, I guess uh, Chloe really loves his chicken curry. That makes her feel like, oh my God, am I man? Thank you to my man. Did y'all see that chicken curry video? I, if I can remember, I'll put it up. Why is the chicken curry looking so dry? And that recipe, talking about some Chef Chi Chi. Why do I feel like he literally up. went to allrecipes.com, sat in the driveway, Googled how to make it, and then Jeez. was looking at the phone the whole time he was making. Boy, shut up. Chef that chicken T. curry. The curry couldn't even stick Stay to the that. chicken. Anyway, y'all, what seems to have sent Chloe into a Damn. downfall that she has to front like she has, like she's engaged. Nobody cares anymore. You living with the man, dummy. We figured out you're going to be his dummy for life, right? Here's the picture of Chloe fronting. Now, I know a lot of you guys think I'm going to drag Chloe's new face. I am not. Chloe, in my mind, is Mrs. Potato Head. And no, not because of the way her head's shaped. She is Mrs. Potato Head because every few months she has new lips, a new nose, a new eye. It looks like her face just fits together differently. And I get it. The Kardashians are big on saying, I haven't had any surgery. Yeah, baby, we know it's not 1996 when Kim was lying, saying she never did anything to her butt. Even though when she, when she was standing up, it looked like she had sitting down hips and her butt came all the way around to the front. Anyway, yes, it's all fillers, but she has Mrs. Potato Head fillers. This is her new face. It looks a hot mess. She's wearing Kim's uh, dehydrated Momo wig. It looks, dumb. well, actually, no, this looks like clipping extensions. A little bit more moisturized, but it looks dumb. And she's wearing this dumb, I, again, I guess they're like, she's uh, wearing stuff for Dulce and Gabbana. The dress looks cute on True. It looks cute on Chloe. They always give a cute look. But who is buying these Amazon.com red rose print dresses you can get off of Amazon for $39.99? And please don't try to act like Dulce & Gabbana has good craftsmanship. Because even back when it was hot, everybody knew it was cheap. That's why, anyway, let's get back to what we're talking about. What has gotten her so upset? Why she needs to show up with her engagement ring because she needs people to talk Baby, at this point, it don't matter whether you engage. I hope you're engaged. It don't matter if you get married. We know you're going to be Tristan's dumb dumb for life. And we are counting down until the ways he finds another way to embarrass you. It's coming. But what sent Chloe into a tizzy this time? Ah, that's right. Jordan's new man. And baby, he a man, man. He rich, rich. He, she is living the life Chloe thought she would get with Tristan. Y'all, listen, let me pull this videos up. So Jordan posted this and you know I had to spy with my little eye. Okay, so let's get into this. There are balloons everywhere. Red light, 
Look at this candlelight. Listen, she literally, there was a violin player. There was a waiter. There you see the corner of that guy's shirt. He's wearing like a paisley shirt. Now she's showing the trip. First she went with um on a private jet and she had champagne. Ooh, life is lovely. Then she said it's a ritual. Every time she touched down, he gives her a bouquet of flowers in her favorite color. You know, he keep her lace. She got the Hermes, right? She got the 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 Von Appler. Then she's talking about if you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? And she said, where are you at, right? And he flew her to him. Look at this layout. Look how she's getting spoiled and wine and dying. Pictures of her hanging down. He basically built, a, look, there he is right there. Cheers and cha-ching. Look, right there. Don't, ain't that a man's hand? Look like an African print shirt. She also tagged the central, listen to this violin player. Listen to this. original face original body that jamaica real deal jamaican you know what i'm saying and meanwhile what's chloe getting wah, wah, wah. jordan getting wine to dine off the central at the coast of central africa flown out hermes everything that, listen anything his baby wants his baby gets jordan got a man man and chloe's sitting here stuck eating some dry curry chicken talking about and that's the only thing after he just got done abandoning you y'all make it make sense honestly what do y'all think about this now if you guys don't know the back history between chloe and jordan what makes this even more funny is chloe for jordan went to court and basically said that chloe and her friends pretty much tortured her the whole time she was pregnant to the point of she thought she was going to lose prince Okay, this is in court documents. Go ahead and look at my old videos. What, how did she meet Tristan? Jordan went to Kevin Hart's wedding, heavily pregnant with Tristan, her date, the father of her child. If you guys don't know, Kevin Hart's current wife is Jordan's uh, cousin. While there, Chloe took his number, talked to him, kept on going. After that, she delighted in the fact that Tristan had left that beautiful woman for her Mrs. Potato Head. And she started feeling herself. And her, Malika, all those people were seven. Ooh, we buy our own cars. We do this. We do that. I remember that. It was a really ugly, dark era. And it showed just how much Chloe just didn't care because she wanted Tristan so much. But also, even if Tristan lied to her, it showed the fact that you literally did take somebody's man when she was six months pregnant. But isn't it funny about karma? Because you literally had to tell, call your baby's father to leave a suite in the dream downtown where he was having a threesome publicly and, and brush his teeth and come down and you had to let him into the delivery room. He wasn't even trying. You literally had a surrogate, people are saying, because you don't want to ruin your body, right? You had a surrogate so you could say sexy with Tristan and Tristan cheated on you and the surrogate and publicly humiliated you and robbed you of all your joy. So much so you still saying that you couldn't bond with your son and the woman that you gleefully thought that you were dunking on because Jordan, Jordan got the face you want. She got the body you want. She got the son you want. Let's be real. I mean, Tatum's a little cutie, but there's something cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in Chloe's head. You know, anything that looks like her, I don't think she really likes because I don't even think she likes the way she looks. You cannot play with your face like it's a filter and, and be like, oh, I'm happy. I'm just sorry. Like, it don't work like that, right? But, um, and I mean multiple times, like stop. But anyway, Jordan seems to be happy. She seems to be glowing. She seems to be thriving and surviving. And Chloe is eating some dry, dry, dry curry chicken. Y'all, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I was, oh wait, I forgot to tell you. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I know you're like, where did Chloe flip out? Let me bring that up. So how did Chloe react to this? One second. How did Chloe react to this? Chloe started speaking in tongues. 
Chloe started talking about some, hey, you know what? Trying to convince herself that her life is good. She said, keep your heart pure no matter what you go through in this life. Baby, you putting your own self through this. You wanted Jordy's life with Tristan and now you got it. You got all her problems and she's free to be flown out to Central Africa because she said, where are you, right? And being serenaded while you eating dry jerk chicken. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.